Hey guys, what's up? This is Liberates, or Tanner, as some of you may know me by. And today I'm going to be doing a color correction tutorial and um, an After Effects. But I have done this tutorial like four or five times now, and my mic is close to the mouth. My mouth is close to the mic. Okay, but um, my computer was really weird, and I tried out three different mics and a bunch of different programs, and it was boosting my voice, basically, my audio, like way ahead of my video. So I reset my computer, and it seems to be working. Um, pretty easy fix and I'm not very smart so I'm gonna start this and I'm just gonna hope it works okay so first of all we're gonna wanna import our clip into After Effects um, I'm gonna be using this one because it has no color correction on it yet so I'll just drag it down to your timeline and I'm just gonna crop out the edges real quick alright so now the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure it's selected down here on the timeline and go to effect color correction and add in curves right there now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna boost the bright colors and darken the dark colors and just give it a nice contrast curve so we're gonna come around right here where you see my mouse and you're gonna drag it up a little bit oh that's not enough drag it up a little bit to where it looks way too bright for you like that looks way too bright and then you're gonna come around down here to where my mouse is and you're gonna drag this down and now you can see it just kinda gives it a nice curve and it's it just looks pretty nice and I don't think I need a toy with that um, just keep in mind this will be different for you guys depending on what you're using this for like whether you're using it for like a game like you might have a different game than me a different map you just gotta kind of experiment with this and get it right because it's different about there's a lot of variables okay so now we're done with curves I'll just get that out of the way now we're gonna go to effect color correction and you're gonna add auto color and this we're gonna be putting in kind of a depth of field look so you're gonna come down to black clip and you're gonna change this all the way up to 10 and then you're gonna come down to white click clip and you're gonna click inside there and you so you get to where you can type and you're gonna type in 0 0.2 and hit enter now this is probably the most important change change you're gonna come down to where it says snap neutral midtone and you're gonna go ahead and check that box and basically what this what this effect does this depth of field is it kinda gives it a bruised look if that makes sense but it makes it look pretty good so do you, you can kinda see how it's darker in places and it's it just it just gives it a good hazy look alright so now what we're gonna do f is that you're gonna go to effect color correction and go to auto levels and basically with the black clip and the white clip you kinda just wanna toy with them um, try to keep it under like five um, like I'm gonna put mine up to around two and then you want to keep your white clip a bit underneath like underneath your um underneath the amount of your white black clip otherwise you're gonna get this look and some people like that actually I think that looks a little bit cool in my opinion but it looks a little bit too much so let's actually try it with four if you put it down to like a little higher than your black clip it looks okay but I'm gonna change it down to um one for the sake of this and um, I'm gonna come down to blend with original and I'm just gonna boost that up to around 10 and uh, so yeah that's your basic color correction oh, alright I got time I'll show you one more thing I like to do um, what I like to do is put a nice glow around my kill feed so um, as you can see on this game hold on let me get to a part on this game you can see my kill feed is down here um, for those of you who don't know what a kill feed is it might be on it might be called something different in your game but it's basically like where it says who killed who with what or whatever and um in depending on the game you're playing your kill feed might be down here it might be up here down here wherever it is what you want to do is you're gonna make sure your clip is selected go to layer new and make a new adjustment layer or control alt y and then on this adjustment layer you're gonna come to the pen tool or you're just gonna hit g to select the pen tool and you wanna make a nice mask around your kill feed so remember it might be on a different place depending on the game so I'm just gonna make it around my kill feed down here and I'm gonna put it around the score counter and the time limit like that and you're gonna wanna close your mask like that okay so now that we have that you wanna come to effects and presets and type in glow or you can add in a bunch of different effects like you don't have to do glow I just prefer glow because it looks kinda cool now you're gonna take the glow and you're gonna either drag it into adjustment layer or you're just gonna drag it onto your mask so I'm gonna drag it onto my mask and now if you turn the mask off you can see it's just way too noticeable and it just it doesn't look good so you're gonna come down to adjustment layer and go to effect or not effects you're gonna go to masks mask one and change the mask feathering 
anywhere from like 400 to like 600 I'm gonna do around 450 and you can see it just kinda disappears and you can't see it and so you're gonna wanna come up here with glow threshold and you're gonna wanna mess around with these settings until you get a nice look so glow threshold I think I'll change down to 40 and then the radius I'll change to around 60 or 50 60 and then the intensity um, let's see, I'm gonna put it up a little bit to like 1.5. Alright, and then you can see it's not very noticeable. I'm gonna change the feathering down to actually around 400. It's a little bit better. And so now what you wanna do is, um, well you can if you want, if unless you just like it like this, but I like to go to Effect, down to Color Correction, and add in CC Toner. Just click on that, and then come to the highlights, and you're gonna change it to basically a light color, like it has to be really really light like in some people's opinion this is light that's not light enough you're gonna wanna get it to where it's basically white you can kinda see the contrast the difference if you look but um so the highlights you wanna change it to a really light kind of a yellow color or a whitish color you don't wanna get too dark on it just kind of give it you can if you want actually yeah that that, that looks okay so I'll give it a nice light purple and then come down to midtones and I'm gonna give this a light light kind of a bluish color so now as you can see we have kind of a subtle glow around our kill feed and um, if I just click play you can kind of see it it's just right there and it looks pretty cool because it kind of blurs it and smudges it a little bit and so overall that's a, that's a pretty cool effect I think um, I'm just gonna kinda let it go a little bit till I get actual kill so you can see it <coughs> work on a kill feed come on render faster please Okay, so there we go, we got him. And then on the kill feed, you can kind of see it just glows, and it looks it looks really nice overall. I like it. So um, that's the end of this tutorial. I'll show this, I'll show it again at the end, the comparison between this color correction and no color correction. Um, you can do color correction in Sony Vegas, but I prefer to do it in um, After Effects because there are a lot more effects. But if you want to see it in Sony Vegas for you guys that don't aren't familiar with After Effects or don't have it, then just request it and I will do that but um I'll see you guys later and pray that this tutorial works